A huge thank you to all the super sponsors who make it possible for me to make these videos. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. Here's another upcoming map, not released yet, but this is Demon Invasion Episode 1 by Red Thingy. And uh, we can already see we've got some custom elements in this one, so this will be quite exciting. Uh, some things fallen off the roof here. Oh no, on second thoughts, that's my uh, little shuttlecraft, isn't it? Right. Uh, <laughs> that door's offline, that door's offline. There's something bad that happened in there, so let's go to the other building. Picked up a clip, picked up a pistol. Got a chair out the way. Can't interact with the computer. Oh dear. <laughs> I like this is like a this is like a, a pre-titled credit sequence. Right, so uh gotta find where his head went, I suppose. Those are not normal zombie men. What are you? You carry pistols. And those are alternative imps as well. Nothing is quite standard doom here. Great use of the dynamic lights. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. The gun sound is different. I was, I was surprised the first time I uh, fired a gun that it isn't, uh, doesn't make the sound you hear on television. It's, uh, it's not a bang fireworks noise. It's more of a snap, like someone's uh, trod on a really big twig. Oh, there's a bit of delay on this one. Oh, those uh, fireballs are faster. I don't know if you can uh, feel that through the screen, but there's a little bit of a delay between pressing the fire button and actually firing here. So I'll have to get used to that. If I shoot at this door... Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if the same's true for the uh, standard pistol. Oh, thank you very much. Something compels me to just click on walls. Really awkward when they go around to somebody's house. Are uh, you all right there? All right. Okay, these must be open from the control room, or that's the red card, that's the blue card. Oh, there's the control room. Okay. Let's find that blue card. Oh, this is quite familiar. Nice ceiling detail. Yeah, I like how the height's changing. Making interesting looking rooms. Check all the lockers. Right, now we've uh, upgraded our weapons, oh, and they've upgraded the opposing force as well. All right, we're back on our feet again. More or less. Okay. Oh. That was uh, fortunate. Oh, you squished all the shotguns. We shouldn't have made them out of jelly.
and we're okay here. Sector 2. So you're sticking to quite realistic, um... Whoa, hello, what are you? I was going to say quite realistic buildings and then that happened. Because they're, they're very uh, right angled, they're very uh, organised. Which, if that's what you want, I can hardly fault it. It does mean that the uh, floors are a bit uh, straightforward, but you've uh, decorated them really nicely with the uh, borders and the walkways and things. It just feels a bit flat for a Doom level. But you really have to be looking for things to uh, complain about to actually notice it. Oh, are we are we underway in another dimension? We seem to be. Wow, are you what are you a mini arch file? You are kind of. You can only blast fireballs forwards instead of at my feet. <laughs> the bathroom's like, I'm not going in there. Um Oh, that's a red skull, okay. Whoa, okay, I see you've got projectiles. Ah, look at the lighting, just subtly different coming in from the ceiling. All right, and that's a blue skull. Looks like uh, we're headed bathroomwards. Uh, okay, which one first then? I'm going to get a huge bloody fry. That's just the toilet. That's an indisposed in. Oh, sorry, mate. <sighs> Do you know... I theorised in my uh, my house videos that the symbolry of bathrooms being dangerous might be to do with uh, some sort of gender questioning issues, but uh, as far as I know, I don't have any gender questioning issues, and my house has made bathrooms the sign of danger for me. All right, give us a kicking. Oh, it's just a key. Oh, oh and, and you. Right, thanks for the key. And we're out and we haven't been transported away anywhere else or have any massive jump scares or shocks. We seem to be okay. You've got health points and a half, don't you? All right. Yeah, so those things hit hard, but at least they telegraph quite uh, slowly when they're going to attack. I might as well literally have to go down to the post office and send a telegram. There we go. Do I have a... Oh, I've got a shotgun. Why didn't I switch to that? I thought there was somebody else. Yeah, you're really leaning into the bloody decorations. And look, what is that? Some hideous growth in the... Uh, what do they call this in uh, Modern Doom? They had a name in Doom Eternal, and then they sort of retrofitted this uh, Hell Creep or something. And then they sort of retrofitted these snake textures to be the same thing. Canonically. I see you hiding behind that pillar. Well, 
Doom 64 noises happening around me. I don't, there's a name for that when you encounter something once and then suddenly it's everywhere. Because just after I played Doom 64, I started noticing its sounds. That's where he went. <laughs> there is something that I say about Sabaton uh, that's uh, <laughs> You know, all their songs sound the same, but that means that they're all really good. And uh, I, that just came to mind just now because uh, I've been going down these uh, same corridors for quite a while now. But they do look really good, so even though you're, you know, repeating quite a lot of the same theme, it's a good one to repeat. Past you, thank you. All right, back to the shotgun. Right, got the blue skull. No, I did that before. Uh, that was the box of tea bags. Which means there's something else I need to do here. Yeah, I pulled that switch. Okay, th that uh, might have done something earlier on. Was that there before, or did I not just not explore it? Ah, we seem to have come out. I love the transition here, just that border. Uh oh. All right. Can't open that. Can't open that. Give us a kicking. Alright, we're dealing with uh, enemies from two sides this time. Which is a nice way to make things more difficult for me. That, uh, that rifle's really slow. I, I, wanted, I think I'd prefer the pistol. I don't know if I'm being foolish here, but this the pistol seems to be faster. And does about the same damage. Let's go back to the rifle again. 14, 7, 21. Yeah, it it does a slightly higher tier of damage. Sevens instead of fives. But I think the pistol has a higher damage output overall. Can't quite do the calculations in my head just now. Okay, that's us back here. Uh, but to what end? Experiment more with uh, the difference between those two weapons. 
All right, we went through here, which uh, means that uh, more monsters were generated. We're probably going the right way. I've been there. Yeah, that was the blue skull door. Okay. That just leads to... No, it doesn't lead to the same place. Red skull key. Did I see a red skull key door somewhere? I know I did. Because I remember having the key card and not the skull key. Yeah, it wasn't in there. I see it. It's uh, down in the south again. I should uh, maybe adjust my uh, map colour so that that's uh, more obvious to me. Twenty-two monsters to go, and we're uh, kind of short of ammunition. And the monsters are dancing on the tables. Oh dear. Okay, I see shells. I... hang on a minute. <laughs> I just orbit this table. There we go. There we go. Oh, no! Helion, that's their name. Okay. Come on. Not you. Oh, okay, clingy on. Um, I don't think I have the resources to defeat you just now. I'm just, I'm just going to grab the key and be off. Is that okay? Thank you. Right, blue skull door. It's uh, just behind me there. There, isn't it? Or was that the uh, key card? Oh no, that was the control room, that's great. Uh, that one. Ah! little uh, forklift truck. That's the sweetest thing. All right. Um... So what was opened by the control room? I've completely forgotten by this point. That one was opened by the control room. That gave me the yellow key card. And the yellow key card is back through the base. Okay. I'm having to travel through a bit of dead space on this map, uh, just the backtracking. It can be uh, neater if you change the rooms, uh, if the player has to go back through them, introduce more enemies, uh, more varied encounters, uh, just like here you're doing. There's a bit of a confrontation before you get the reward of actually continuing. You could just run away. All right, and that looks like it's going to be the end. 
Yeah, this is an excellent looking map. Um, possibly just by design, it's pretty flat. And uh, you've got some rooms where height comes into play a bit more and you use uh, monsters uh, above or below the player. Uh, the the corridors can get to look the same a bit, but it's, it's a good standard to have set. Uh, if you're going to make the rooms the same, make them look this good. Yeah, so those, those are just the uh, points that I would say about this map. But otherwise, uh, this looks like it's going to be an enjoyable atmospheric adventure. And I'm looking forward to seeing more from it. Thanks once more to everyone listed here for sponsoring my videos. If you'd like to join the Discord or have some ideas for future games to cover, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.